Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Elden Ring. So in the last episode, we killed a couple of Crucible Knights, um, just to clear them off my map. They're the ones that I could remember that we needed to do. Now, we're going to go back to the Ancestral Woods and try and clear out Nokron a bit more properly. Um, so I need to light all of the beacons around this place, and also go into the city proper, I suppose. I think my plan here is to ignore enemies and just try and find the beacons, right? There's one up there. Looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to try and light, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. Hey, buddy. I succeeded. Run away. Actually, kind of worked. We're at the Hallowhorn Grounds. There'll be a couple of tri-finger buttholes in there, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> Ghost Glove Wall 4. So how many have I got now? 1, 2, 3... I think I've lit 4 out of 6 in this area. This is that one. I can just check here, right? Lit five, maybe? Cookly. Yeah, okay, all bar one are lit. Okay, so I've lit five. Which means there's one more and I have an inkling. I know where it is. Hello. And my inkling is it's up in... My inkling. It's up in this area here that I ignored last time. We'll see, though. Well, we're in 12, I'll take it. Be wary of jumping is an odd way to phrase that, but... I mean, you're an enemy. I feel kind of bad. You didn't seem particularly strong. Didn't expect dung. Oh. Is that what they're playing? Oh, no wonder they're... I, I was going to say, she's holding it like almost like a child. Oh, that's fucked. The way that the, the female one's like holding this horn thing that they're using to play music, it's like a... They're holding it like a you would hold a child. Like, they're swaddling it. Huh. Skull of a young ancestral spirit. Just think how many sproutings it might bear. Use FP to spray spirit vapor, inflicting magic damage. The vapor becomes a temporary geyser, which deals continuous damage to everything it touches until it disappears. That's horrifyingly sad. Also, I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get back from here. <laughs> 
I guess I can climb over those walls, but I don't know how that helps me, because I don't think I can get back from here anyway. I may have to, fa may have to fast travel. Let's climb up here, because if I can get up really high up here, maybe it'll give me a better viewing platform and I can actually see. I died. Apparently there's Steak America here, but I don't care about Steak America. I suppose it could be down in the city area, but that seems unlikely. There's one here. There could be one to the right that I've just missed. Also, I didn't have that many souls, so I don't care too much about getting them immediately. Oh, there's one right here, I think. Yep. Standard. Missed the first one. Alright, perfect. Power gathers in horned remains. Cool. I uh, went to the wrong horned remains. Standard. Uh, that's fine though, because I kind of want to come up here anyway, and I may as well grab my runes since I can. I'll be up here somewhere. And 5,000, it's not insignificant. <laughs> this guy came a long ass way to try and hit me, and he's like, oh, I can't get up there. Um, can I safely jump down here? It looks like they're out of my range, probably. I'm just gonna run down, fuck it. Sorry, buddy. I feel like you would have gotten my way otherwise. Uh, cool. So, I guess, is this just another boss fight? A reskin of the, the deer? Or maybe there's two deer. Maybe there's two deer. We'll find out, I suppose. Tap a po. Interesting. It teleported for some reason. There's also spirit balls in the middle of this place. <laughs> spirit animals in general. It's limping. Music in this is so good. I keep missing with the shit. Oh, it healed. Interesting. It's 
like healing and dying. It's gonna charge. What the fuck? What a strange boss fight. I got it, as I tried to heal. Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. Huh. Well, that makes me feel bad. I killed it because it was a boss, but like, now I feel bad. <laughs> no. No, I can't summon Tori in here. I'm gonna make the assumption there's nothing in here. Yeah, I... yeah. <laughs> Good message. <laughs> I think that's the first boss I've killed that gave me a remembrance that wasn't a... a rune bearer, right? Interesting. I wonder if that affects the... Ancestors at all. Seemingly, no. Well, the boss is dead. And I've now searched that place. And I've now searched this place. I guess the only thing left for me to do is actually search the, the city proper, so... The way all the animals kind of died there made me feel really bad about it. Everything about this place made me feel bad. The woman singing holding up the skull of a un her dead child, like ugh. Just uncomfortable feeling. I have 30,000 souls. Should probably spend them on a level up, hey? I want to know what that remembrance gives me too, actually. So let's let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna level up. Go check that remembrance. Eh, it's not taking me actually about 30k to level up per level. Um, Science of Grace, Round Table, Hold. I found out very recently, by the way, that you can do that very quickly. If you hit Y, it brings up a list of teleport points, and if you hit X, it takes you to Round Table, Hold. That's great. Or I guess what would be triangle and square on. PlayStation controller. Here. The Winged Great Horn. So you can get the Great Axe. Ancestral Spirit's Horn. Item cut from the horns of the Regal Ancestor Spirit. Restores FP on defeating enemies. A number of new growths bud from the antlers like horns of the fallen king, each glowing with light. Thus does new life grow from death, and from death one obtains power. And this thing, a unique horn in which the power of ancestral spirits fiercely dwells, this large wing-shaped specimen is wielded as a weapon of spirit worship. In the ancestral spirit worshipping faith, they are considered envoys wings, made to reap the lives of beings which experience no sprouting. It's got the unique seal Soul Stifler. Raises the Great Horn's wings to summon a soul sapping miasma. Enemies in the affected area will temporarily suffer from induced defense. Interesting. Well, I want this. Because I think that that's a. 
Hmm. Now, let the work. So I assume that is one of these, right? Hmm. Let's try it. We'll see how much it actually restores. Because if it's even slightly, slightly a large amount, or even a middling amount, I should say, then it's probably worth. If it's like one FP, not so worth. But if it's like more than that. Hmm. Interesting. So this big corpse, for want of a better term. We found this as well in Ainsel River, right? Um, here. There was another one of these. Also, apparently, I have a marker somewhere. I have a marker put down somewhere, but I... Oh, there it is. Yoink. It's gone. Perfect. Perfect. Be wary of precious item. Also, people dying here, but they could be dying here because they're falling off. Or not. Yes. <laughs> falling off. Knight's Sacred Ground. So there's an item there. Rejuvenating Poluses. I don't think I've seen them yet. Not craft items. Alleviates Death Blight buildup. Okay. Mimic. Not turning into me, interestingly, turning into somebody else. Should be able to kill her, though. Dumb death, but that's fine. Oh, how much FP did I get from that? Let's see if this fills me, I guess. No, it's hardly any. Golden rune. Fort, night, fort, evening, ah, fort, but why is it always night? God damn it. Let's head this way. Behold, skeleton. <laughs> More of a zombie than a skeleton, honestly. There are some mimics down there, but otherwise... Nothing particularly interesting. Try toxic.
I hear a beetle. I'm trying to ascertain which direction it is. Oh. Intriguing. A black wet blade. Okay, it's just a health one, I don't care. Hmm. Sure, got a bunch. Oh, hello. Interesting. Smithing stone. Didn't feel worth a smithing stone three. Oh, that's his actual chest. Okay, fair enough. Mimic tier ash. Okay, I think that's like a really good mimic tier. Uh, sorry, a really good ash because I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure this turns into a copy of you. So, uh, so that's something. That's definitely worth. Awesome. Um, so having two of me is always going to be good, obviously. Because I'm baller. So two of me is even better. So I can keep going that way. I can search in here a bit more too, though. There's definitely shit down there. Um... I think, I think I want to go outside. I'm pretty sure this is the way I want to go, because I want to go here. I do a big bullet jump. Kill this thing. This is very Anal Wondo here. Hmm. Does this lead me into where I think it does? It does. Nice. <laughs> I still don't know what nascent butterflies actually craft into. I found a bunch of them. And I keep getting them because they're glowy. But I don't actually know if there's any point to me getting them. Nox flowing hammer. Where are my hammers? Down here. Mace shaped like a suspended metal droplet wielded by monks of the Eternal City. Forged from liquid metal form a silver tear. It is thoroughly tempered until hardened. It is also bent. Like it's not... I mean, I guess that could be useful in a hammer-type weapon, as long as you wield it in a particular way. And it has a unique skill, flowing form. Temporarily transforms armament into its liquid form. Swing the armament with a whip, like a whip, to strike surrounding enemies before slamming its teardrop-shaped head down. Interesting.
And he dropped an item for me. Level tier. Okay. Despair ahead. I mean, accurate, I suppose. <laughs> there is something horribly wrong with that. Okay. Interesting. She dropped an item too. Night Maiden's armor. I think I'm... I think I'm safe to look this up right now. Armor worn by the Night Maidens of the Eternal City indicates the higher clerical rank and includes a silk cape. Long ago, the Nox invoked the ire of the Greater Will and were banished deep underground. Now they live under a false night sky in eternal anticipation of their liege, of the coming age of the stars, and their lord of night. The ire of the Greater Will. Interesting. As far as I know, that's the first I've heard of the Greater Will. Hello, you bitch. Um, as far as I know, that's the only thing, the greater will. That sounds like a god of gods, right? Like, what, like, mono, like a mono, monotheistic god, like the, the, the true, the true god of everything. Hmm. Has interesting lore implications there. There is a bonfire down here. Also a bunch of mimics. But I want the bonfire. So am I right in assuming that this thing here... Legendary Ashen Spirit used to summon the spirit of a mimic tier. Summon consumes HP rather than FP. Interesting. The spirit takes th the Elder <laughs> the connection to the Elder Run game server was lost, returning to title screen. Uh, odd. That's literally never happened to me before. I guess that's just what happens when my internet cuts out halfway through? Maybe? I don't know. Weird. Um, not that it actually- like, it doesn't do much. Like, I'm still- I'm fine. Um... But, what was I going to do? Right, here. Uh, consumes, summoning consumes HP rather than SP. The spirit takes the form of the summoner to fight alongside them, but its mimic really does not extend to imitating the summoner's will. Mimic tears are a result of an attempt by the Eternal City to forge a lord. Interesting. It's completely unleveled, so I don't imagine it's going to be particularly good, but let's try it. Well, would you look at that. There's now two of me. Okay, I think I'm back online now. Is he one-shotting them? No. He just transforms. Wow, that thing did a lot of damage. Okay, if he uses weapon arts, he does a shitload. And I guess this one is just really tanky, is the idea. Good to know. Because I did, like, next to nothing on that one, too. Whoa, no, it takes a lot of my health to summon you. Okay. That's why I died so quickly. This guy also just does a shitload of damage. Mm. 
Mimic Tear is nearly dead, but he's completely unupgraded, so that's not the end of the world. Golden Rune 7. There's a material here, that's fine. More nascent butterflies. Um, okay. Well, the teleporter intrigues me, but so does going into this place, because there's an actual item in here. I would also put a mimic on the roof here, but... Finger Slayer Blade, Great Ghost Glove Wart. Cool. This is where I found the other great ghost glove wart, by the way. It was in the uh the other temple with the the massive lady. Hmm. I guess let's take the teleporter. I guess this must be the secret that we need is through this teleporter. Cuz the reason I came here in the first place was for Lady Rani's quest. Hmm. Sitting at 40 Oh no, that just teleports back up. Maybe the weapon is what I needed? This thing. The Finger Slayer's Blade. Hidden beneath the Eternal City of Nokron. A hidden treasure of the Eternal City of Nokron, a blade said to have been born of a corpse. This blood drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City and symbolizes its downfall. It cannot be wielded by those without a fate, but is said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. It's the second time in this episode that I've heard of the greater will. Huh. Interesting. Was this the blade that killed Godric? Godwin, rather? Not Godric. Maybe this was the, the blade that killed Godwin. Obviously, that's what Rani wanted. <laughs> so that makes sense. Also, we got the black wet blade. Um, when applying the affinity using physical or occult type ashes of war, an, an additional affinity of poison, blood, or occult can be chosen. Interesting. So classically, an occult weapon from Dark Souls is something that does damage to gods. Or does additional damage to gods, which would fit in. I've yet to see an, like a, an occult affinity on anything, to be honest, but... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, a couple of things I want to do. I've now searched this place. I think completely. I don't think I missed anything there. Um, so that's something. So Nokron is now explored completely, I think. Which is fun. So let's go to... Uh, the round table. The reason I want to come here is twofold. Notably, I want to level up the Mimic. Uh, no, not that way. I want to level up the Mimic. Because he seems really good. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? I am indeed, my dear. Ugh, it's going to be expensive. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I can get it all the way to ten. I think I'm going to, because even at level 1, it was absolutely roasting those enemies. Um, like, it, it, his weapon arts seem to be doing the same amount of damage as my weapon arts, which is ludicrous. Um, but to do that, I'm going to need souls. So this takes it to plus 10. So that's the highest spirit summon I have now, and he's just a copy of me, so probably good. Um, I'm actually interested to know whether or not he has the same amount of HP as me, or whether or not he is noticeably bulkier I guess we'll find out um also he's gone from plus one to plus ten the difference is going to be enormous uh anything else I wanted to do here before we leave um 
No? I want to continue the story, so I probably want to go talk to EG and stuff, but I think I'm going to do that next episode. So, if you like this episode, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time, where we're going to continue the, uh... Continue the story into Rani's questline, I suppose. Because I've now gone through Nokron and I found what I assume is the intended item, which is this... This blade that murders the Great Mind, or whatever... What's it called? Uh, the Greater Will. God. See, I want to watch a Vardy video, lore video, because I'm sure, I'm pretty sure he did, like, a, a like, o a lore overview video, but I've avoided watching it, because I'm sure it has late game spoilers. What I should do is just hurry up and finish the goddamn game, eh? I should just play for four days straight and finish the whole thing, but... Ugh. I'm having fun taking my time. It makes it more enjoyable to me. Also, I have five respects now. That's cool. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'll see you next time, guys.